Having a Glenn Denning is a must have. Volvo D12s, hard to find, 800 horsepower. This does have a retractable swim platform, which is really nice. You can set your dinghy on this or a jet ski. Welcome back to the harbor and back to the boat yard here in Safe Cove. I'm on a really nice boat today. It's a 50 foot Marquee LS 2008. A lot of little upgrades made here and there. Let's jump on. First off, really like this fully tinted slider. Can't see in at all. Got the logo on the glass. Nice faux teak and holly flooring. It's got a nice blonde color to it. I'm starting to like this more than the actual teak just because it's so easy to maintain and uh, you don't have to oil it and it doesn't fade. Radio controls here as well as your light switches. Got a rod holder, nice big stainless cleat mounted on a plate. It's really nice. I like the upholstery. It's a synthetic material, nice color. Let's open some of these boxes here. Got a little storage, quick access storage for some lines. Little transom door there, stainless again with the with the logo. Well, let's open this while we're here. The fire extinguisher. Just a little extra storage. Again, another rod holder. Let's take a walk around first. That's great, looking nice. This is uh, probably gonna be the exhaust for the engine room, for the you know lower to clear the engine room out. Now this boat has been uh, ceramic coated recently, and you can really see how. It gives a nice deep shine to it. Really nice lines here. Bow rail, nice hip height. The decks aren't super wide, but they're not too tight. They're, they're just right, leaving you plenty of room inside the salon, but, but enough to comfortably walk by. I walked by completely, you know, facing forward. I didn't have to turn to the side. We've got our electrical outlets here. 50 amps. Nice Maxwell 3500. Windless. We've got our foot controls for the windless. Shallow box for some lines. Here's a deeper one for the chain and road. We've got a buoy. Fenders are covered. Spotlight and a big anchor. We got freshwater shut off. I like these chafing guards. They've got it strapped down for hurricane season, but normally it's going to help with the lines tied off to the dock. So this boat is kept in Englewood, Florida when it's not on the hard and on a lift. So for the last six years, the bottom has been kept up high and dry on a boat lift. Port side, moving aft, large windows, everything's nice and tinted. Gonna keep it nice and cool inside. Take a look at that enclosure when we get up. I think that's been recently redone. Up on the bridge. Now this is a fully enclosed bridge. You can shut this door here 
close this hatch and it appears that it's going to have air conditioning. We got some storage in here. Nice big sun pad up front. Small forward facing seat. Open this up out in the blue Caribbean. Man, be quite quite a view from up here. A lot of space. It's a huge hard top, guys. This thing, man, this is that's just a very long hard top. Nice comfortable bridge. Got all of our gauges, lights, windlass, your blower, your bilge pumps, fuel gauge. Here's our bow thrusters, bow thruster and stern thruster, I should say. This is the newer thruster that's been added. Here we have our throttles, two-tone color, the captain's chair. I think this is going to be the best place to hang out on this boat. Very nice area. Let's go down below and check out the salon. All right, into the salon. Nice chocolate covered, <laughs> covered, chocolate covered couches. Chocolate colored couches. Nice little settee in front of the television. entertainment area lots of storage nice blonde wood not sure what kind of wood but it's got a very shiny nice glaze to it here we've got the electrical system our 12 volt DC and our AC does have surround sound nice touch here with the wood inlaid in the headliner nice big windows a lot of light coming in here it's going to be darkened a little bit because everything is tinted but um, really nice nice salon and we have a really nice galley up galley up up not even at deck level all the way up nice dinette here and this folds up and out of the way if you want a smaller dinette fridge good spot to have breakfast and still be able to have a good view all right to the galley princess gourmet oven electric cooktop they're on the hard here staying inside uh, undercover so that helps keep the heat out but got a humidifier that will run to keep the moisture take the moisture out of the boat and drains it into the sink and then right out the boat. Nice big microwave. Lots of storage. Beautiful custom refrigerators. Even, is this a third fridge? Or, I guess this is the freezer. Yeah, Sub-Zero, there's your freezer. Let's head on down to the staterooms. All right, here we have the V-Birth Queen. We've got to step up on both sides to get in. Television. Here again, another step up. 
Very easy to get in and out. Again, more storage. Everything's been opened up and cleaned out. This boat is for sale. Nice big hanging locker. It's like a wallpaper on some of the walls. Here we've got more of the vinyl with the wood inlay. Two heads, completely enclosed heads with showers. A little latch here to keep the door from swinging open in heavy seas. Plenty of room in there. Mirrored doors. The vacuum flush head. Dominic. I like these floors in the heads. Not sure if it's gel coat. All right, heading into the master stateroom. Okay, wow, this is really, really spacious. Plenty of room, both sides. I believe it's a queen bunk. You got a desk or vanity area here. Now here's an extra they added, was a washer and a dryer, not the combo. Everybody knows those combos, they don't take up much space, right? But I hear that they don't work all that great. So here we've got new Malber washer dryer. Little entertainment area. With the TV, radio and CD player. I assume that might go to the surround sound. And heading into the master head. This is massive, guys. Another big shower. Able to sit down. It's got more of the faux teak decking. Nice touch. This flooring, I believe this flooring is an acrylic. It's got like a non-skid in it, though. Very nice, another vacuum flush head. Looks like a Corian top. Yeah, this boat's ready for sale, guys. Everything's been cleaned out. Everything's been opened up and gone through. All the personals taken out. She is seriously for sale. It's on the hard right now. I didn't want to turn on the lights, but we got all these lights going all through the headliner and the ceiling. We've got our AC vents on each side. What do we got in this little door here? Oh, our vacuum, central vac looks like. Very nice. All right, heading back up. This boat is very luxurious. Not like a lot of the some of these older trawlers I've been doing. But uh, let's take a look and see what she's got for power. Back in the cockpit deck. Let's go down into the belly of this beast. Good hydraulics, keeping that door up and out of the way. Here's the big Volvo D12s, hard to find. 800 horsepower, they got about 1100 hours. Appear to be pretty clean, 08, so we're going on 16 year old motors. There's the drive shaft. Here's our exhaust, a quasi wave inverter. Battery charger. There's her blower fan. Big fire boy extinguisher. Electrical panels, main AC, 12 volt DC control center. Pretty good amount of headroom in here. Here's one of your transducers going through the hull. There's your sea strainer. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, this is a big lazarette back here. Kohler generator. Man, plenty of space back here. The bilge smells pretty good. Battery banks. Here's our Glen Denning with the power cord. These little rollers keep it keep it moving in the right direction and then it coils up down in that basin. This is a power cord. Right here is the outlet. Well they got two of them. Here you can see better. When it comes in, it goes into this catch. You hit the button and it pulls it out. And man, let me tell you, these are nice to have. Because these cords are heavy. And when they're left out in the sun, they start to break down and get real sticky. And then they just make a mess of the boat. So having a Glen Denning is a must have if you're gonna have a, a nice yacht. Hot water heater, I suppose it's a tankless hot water heater. I believe this is the raw water pump for cooling the engines and possibly the generator. I could be wrong though. If you know, let me know. But yeah, nice, nice engine room. I could work in here. Let's get down below. We'll do a full walk around, take a look at the bottom, the running gear, take a good look at the sides of this boat while she's out of the water when they get hauled up. And they are a lot bigger out of the water, it feels like. Now this does have a retractable swim platform, which is really nice. You can set your dinghy on this or a jet ski once you put the uh, bunks in and lower it right down and it serves as a lift, lifts it into the, uh, lifts it out of the water and puts it back into the water. Also, when you're out, you know, at anchor, you can sit on this and have the water, you know, be waist high while you're sitting, relaxing, just swim in and out and off of it. They've got it down, I believe, they are, they just have it down to get in and out of the boat right now while they have it on the hard and they're getting things done. But um, yeah, really nice piece of equipment. There's the lift, you can get a good look at it while it's down now. Hydraulic lines, hydraulic pump, crazy looking Florida grasshopper hanging on there. And I guess right here, while we're at it, we can take a look at that new stern thruster really looks like that thing's been used. As I did say, this boat has been sitting on a lift, so it has not been sitting in the water, and that makes a massive difference for everything, especially below the water line. So here we have that Glen Denning receptacle, shore power one and two. We've got a fresh water hookup. Here's the Cable Master Glen Denning switches. Uh, as you can see, you know, you start getting cords like that, 100 feet of cord laying on your deck or on your swim platform, it can be a mess. Old Jersey girl out of Stillwell, Kansas. Okay, let's hop down. Big trim tabs. Now the boat hasn't been in the water, so hasn't been getting probably too many bottom jobs, but if you were gonna leave it in the water, she would be due for a bottom job. Now there's another little Florida critter hiding this little rabbit. Big old five blade propellers, bronze. A little bit of a pocket there so the propellers can recede up under the boat. It's gonna help with draft as well. There's a big scoop here. Okay, this is the exhaust. So exhaust is gonna go under the water, which that's great. It's gonna really help with not getting diesel soot all over the, the back of your boat. Quiet too, it's gonna make it a lot quieter. Oh, it looks like they dinged something here on the sea strainer pickup, but nothing appears to be damaged in the hull. But you're gonna to have to have a surveyor check out a boat like this, of course. Here's that transducer. This is just a grate to protect the uh, through hole from getting clogged. Here's our bow thruster. Must have. Here's a sea strainer guard intact. Well, there she is. It's a lot of boat right there. 50 foot 
marquee. The recent updates include ceramic coating in 2024, a new dual Raymarine hybrid touch in 2024, 2023 new helm Isinglass as well as stern shade canopy and in 2023 they added that stern thruster All right, guys well i appreciate you guys watching this video with me let me know if you want to see more motor yachts i've got a couple more coming up looking at a meridian uh, possibly a big bay liner we'll just kind of bounce around and see what i can find out there on the harbor until then i appreciate you guys watching we'll see you on the next one